We're heading into week eight. If you have any questions about your lineup or you just want a second opinion, I'm here for you. Drop it in the comments. Romeo Dubs. He is owned in a fair amount of leagues, so he might not be on your waivers. But over the last two weeks, he's been on fire ever since that short suspension. 11 receptions, 14 targets, almost 150 yards and two touchdowns total over the last two weeks. He's been a wide receiver four in that stretch or a top four wide receiver in that stretch for better words. But he's playing Jacksonville this week, a top two matchup for the receiver position. It looks like Jacksonville's getting some momentum, so maybe this could be a competitive game, maybe a high-scoring game, right, if all things go well. And if you need a starter desperately, uh, maybe you have some people on by, Romeo Dubs could be a guy to throw in your lineup, but at the bare minimum, he should be on your bench. And how about Noah Fant? He, over the last two weeks, he has been a staple in this offense, and last week, he had a huge game against the Atlanta Falcons. But over the last two weeks, he's had five receptions on five targets. So he's catching every he's catching the ball every time he gets the ball. Uh, 65 yards a game again over the last two weeks. So he's giving us about 11 fancy points in full PPR formats. And next week, Seattle again coming off of a much needed win against Atlanta. They're playing Buffalo. I think it's another must win for Seattle if they want to contend in the NFC side of things. So it could be a potential shootout again against a tough defense in Buffalo necessarily they're not a great or bad defense against a tight end position but no fan seems to have uh cemented his spot in this offense as far as the volume that he's getting hunter henry is another guy this is a guy that has been on off on off it's been a repeating cycle with uh hunter henry just like a lot of other players on waivers but this is a guy that with drake may as his quarterback over the last two weeks 11 receptions on 14 targets 135 yards total and a touchdown to go along with it. He's been a top five tight end over the last two weeks. The caveat here and the reason why I'm worried about a guy like Hunter Henry is that he's playing the Jets this week. So I, I don't necessarily think he is a start this week, uh, but this is a guy that when he played him in week three, he only had one fantasy point. Uh, again, I'm being generous. He didn't even have that. But this is a guy that is having a tough, he has a tough matchup ahead of him. So I wouldn't say grab him and start him. But if you need a backup or if you want a guy for the future, this is a guy to grab on your bench. But for the deeper leagues, if you are really uh, in need of a receiver, Troy Franklin could be a look. Or at least, hey, if you want to grab him for the playoff run, maybe. Maybe if Troy Franklin starts to catch some steam, why not? Again, this is a guy to look at. But he seemingly has turned the corner. Last week, five receptions, 50 yards out of nowhere, right? Cortland Sutton was nowhere to be found, but Troy Franklin stepped up on a Thursday night win. So again, deeper league option. Maybe if you have a lot of injuries or a lot of people on by, he could be a guy to grab and stash. Who knows? We might have something by playoff time. The other Bronco is actually Will Lutz. It's not a, a skill position player. It is a kicker. And this is why, because I don't know if this is something that's happened ever in fantasy football, or at least not in recent memory. But Will Lutz, over the next five weeks, has four top five matchups for the kicker position. He plays Carolina this week, uh, Baltimore the week after. Then he has the Chiefs. Tough matchup there, but again, the Broncos' divisional matchup could be competitive. But then he has Atlanta and Vegas. So four top five matchups for Will Lutz going forward. 18 points last week for him. Can he continue that? If he can, he's going to be a top five kicker at the end of the year. Let's get into the recap here at the quarterback position. Tua, I didn't make a graphic for him, but I want to throw him out there for you guys to have in the back of your minds. I know we can't trust his health. I know it's very hard at this point after a fourth concussion to grab him and start him down the stretch of the season, especially in the playoffs for fantasy. But at the end of the day, last year, he was a top 10 quarterback. He has electric weapons around him in a high-powered offense. If he can make his return by, let's say, week nine, this is a guy that is an elite quarterback, especially as a backup quarterback in fantasy football. So, again, I know his health is a concern, but for fantasy, could be a great option down the stretch of the season. Alexander Madison, he, he needs to be on your roster. He is the running back one in Vegas at this point in time, but I didn't make a graphic for him because he is owned in just about 50% of Yahoo and ESPN leagues, so might not be there, but if he is, again, definitely get him on your roster. We talked about Dubs, Franklin, Keon Coleman had one of his better games as a rookie, but, but I think, again, with the addition of Amari Cooper, you on paper, again, and not a passing offense, you might say Keon Coleman's done for, but last week, 14 fantasy points, 
This is a guy that might have more opportunities against the cornerback twos and threes of the world going forward because Amari Cooper is such a great wide receiver and he's going to get more attention from the defenses. So Keon Coleman quietly might be the guy that benefits the most out of this Amari Cooper addition. Moving over to the tight ends, we had Noah Fant, Hunter Henry, uh, Zach Ertz, of course, the old man. All three of these guys, no matter who their quarterback is, has produced this season. Will Reichard, even though I talked about Lutz, would be my number one kicker uh, pickup on the week because this is a guy that plays for the Minnesota offense that has a lot of opportunity to score in, in bunches. So Will Reichard, Will Lutz, the Will brothers to close off the list. But that's going to do it here. Very quick and to the point episode. That's how we do these on the channel. So if you enjoy, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, tell a friend to tell a friend, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'll get back to you as quick as I can.